living beings can't be property. Like not forever. Like they can, yeah, they're not forever. People are going to wake up and realise that they deserve a right to life like everyone else. 400 years they, that blacks were slaves for, 400 years. That's how long people took to wake up and say, hey, they can't be property. They're, they're living beings, they deserve a right to life. So people are starting to wake up that this is unacceptable, you know what I'm saying? Is money really more important than all these lives of these animals? God doesn't want this. God doesn't want this, us to do this to these animals. God doesn't want this. Kosher, no kosher, God does not want us to do this to animals. Love all beings, love all his creation, that's what he says. God does not want this, you know that in your heart. It's causing suffering. We are causing pain and suffering to these innocent beings. What are they going to say when you get to heaven? They're going to say, yeah, this is fine. There's slaughterhouses in heaven here. There's slaughterhouses in heaven where we can find and cage chickens. You know, this is wrong. We, we, we can't let this happen. You, you have a heart inside there. You can, we can get another job. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Hello, officer. Okay, so this is a kosher slaughterhouse and there's a rabbi in there slitting animals' throats and they do a prayer beforehand, which is ridiculous when you think about it. If, if religious people think God wants this, wants animals confined in those cages to get their heads cut off, if you've seen in those bins there was just severed animal heads, this isn't a place of God, this is a place of the devil. And anyone who thinks otherwise has been deluded and brainwashed and lied to. You follow your heart if you think that this is okay, if God wants this stuff. And we're on the other side of the police, like we are the bad guys. We are the bad guys for telling people that this is wrong to do this to innocent beings. They're innocent beings in there. They've done nothing wrong. They're defenseless and vulnerable and they're scared and they're only children, okay? And this is wrong on every level. So um, we've got a lot of work to do as a society, but it's horrible. Step back and look at the ground, isn't it? I know you've got your views, but if you stay over there. Well, take offence from the man. How is this not a? How is this not? It's a mass slaughter. Mustafa, Mustafa. Just because you take offence to it doesn't mean it's wrong. Mustafa. Well, we'll hang about until yeah. you're gone. Right. Do you need, can you close the door gates now and that's it, yeah? What could be more offensive than doing this to innocent beings? You know? Yeah, rat boys killing and we're the bad guys. What is your purpose here today? What do you want from today? That's a really good question. Just like Raise awareness so people yeah. stop supporting this industry. It's horrible. And how do you want to do that going forward today? Use the footage to show people not to eat them, but it's difficult. Right, so yeah. have you gained the footage that you wanted to gain today? Would you let us back in if we haven't? <laughs> well, don't yeah. Yeah. No. So you, yeah. you're happy that you've got some footage of them bringing in yeah, we, you know, we'd, you even, we'd ask each individual non-vegan here to question why we're doing this to animals for a sandwich, you know, that's what we would, we'd ask you all to question I'm yourself. I'm not going to discuss your views and my views, or their yeah. views and your views, because I'm not here to well, do that. I'm pretty sure we have the same view on animal cruelty and that animals deserve a right to life. I'm sure we, we're, not, we're not very well, different I'm, to that. I'm not going to go into that discussion about my beliefs. Yeah. We're going to remain here until you guys leave. Probably. Yeah. Why would I actually do that? It's just look at the birds once to understand where we're coming from. Our role here is police officers to prevent a breach of the peace. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this What's is the, this is a breach of the peace. You're defending a, a injustice. If there were dogs in those cages, you would be helping us. I'm not doing that at all. That's yeah. why I'm not going to engage. I might completely agree with you. I might be a vegan myself. Yeah. You might be. I, I think you are in your heart. That's what we have to ask ourselves. Is maybe this justified? I'm, maybe I'm not talking. If this was 200 years ago, you'd be t defending slave owners. And 50 years from now, we'll look back at this in disgust. We're going to look back in history and say this was wrong, and whoever took part in it will be sorry because this is we are so at wrong. Time and you're the obstacle. Yeah. That's how it looks. This, is, this, looks. this movement is getting so big. See that little black girl? She gave a speech the other day. She stood up and like she was only like 11 or whatever. She's 11 years old and she's worked this out. Yeah. You know, it doesn't take much and for a child to look at this and say it's wrong. Animals. We're trying to help animals. We're trying to help these animals. You know, like yeah. think about how vulnerable I'm, and innocent I'm, those animals are. They're defenseless. Okay, and we we are their guardians and we put them in cages and slice their throats open for no reason. No reason. Sure. We can live healthy vegan. We can live healthy sure vegan. What word word? I mean, sonder. Right. I think with religion, um, our religion, all these most religious doctrines preach non-violence, don't they? And, and peace upon earth, and thou shalt not kill. Yeah. And then we have people, Orthodox Jews, so very, you know, very devoted Jews, slaughtering animals day in day out as their job, and they think they're doing it in the name of God. You know, I mean, it's so twisted and I th sick. I think uh, doing something like that in God's name would be the 
biggest sin, wouldn't yeah, it? Absolutely, it's a massive sin. It's, it goes against everything that God's supposed to preach. Yeah, and and it's just the fact that He's created these animals, and then we modify them, we you know breed them, we breed millions of them in these horrible, horrible factory farms and yeah. stuff, and then we slit the throats. It's just not anything God would ever have wanted. So we're playing God with right. these animals' lives. Well, yeah, we're literally we're, we're creating animals that wouldn't exist. These chickens wouldn't exist in the wild because they're modified to grow abnormally yeah. large. So they're not God's creatures. Yeah. So this is more the place of the devil, yeah? Absolutely. There's no slot houses in heaven. No way. No way.